Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Mapi of Living Streams International bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. This morning I'd like to capture my thoughts with the word teachers for tomorrow. Teachers for tomorrow. N now, in, in Luke chapter 9, I'm still fascinated by Luke chapter 9, the whole episode of the transfiguration. And the episode of transfiguration is amazing, amazing. And I must be very honest. I, I want the glorious part, but I don't want some of the other parts. I have to, later on, you, I'll explain to you. I want some of the nice parts, but I don't want some other parts. I want the part where, I mean, Jesus is praying, then the uh, his fashion of his countenance changes, and then the Bible also said his raiment also changed and became white as snow. I really love to have that. I really love to have that. And for me, that would be a big blessing. But then there are other things too that are there, which are not too palatable. Now the Bible says Moses and Elijah appeared. And when Moses and Elijah appeared, and the last time I explained that Moses and Elijah, one of the reasons I believe that God chose them was because they transcended their day. They were for the next generation. They were fathers who were dealing with sons, who had dealt with sons before. So now the Bible says Moses and Elijah appeared and they came to speak to Jesus about his disease. Now that was fascinating for me. Moses and Elijah, they came to talk to Jesus. I mean, the Son of God. They came to talk to God's only beloved Son about his death. I mean, Jesus knew about his death. He, he, he said, uh, uh, greater love has no man that a man should lay down his life for his friends. He having, even told them this thing, that pull down this temple that is him, and in three days I'll raise it up. I mean, I'll rise again and all those other things. The son of man came, I mean, that he would die. He just spoke about, it. you remember, he even rebuked Peter. When Peter was telling him, you ain't going to die, then he said, get thee behind me, Satan. So Jesus was really, 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 he had all those things figured out. He'd figured all those things out already. So he didn't need anybody to explain to him, especially, he was the son of God. I mean, he said, I and my father are one. He said, he even came to time to pray and was telling people, listen, I'm praying not because of me, but I'm praying because of these people. Man, boastful prayer. I mean, the, the guy had it all, had it all. He, he, he prayed, he said, I'm not praying because of me, Father, I know you hear me always, but you know, for these people, for their faith, for them to know that I can talk to you, so I'm, I'm praying, man. But here are two messengers from the father Two father figures from the past visiting him, the son, to speak to him about his disease, his death. First of all, there's a transaction of fathers with the sons and nobody can explain that better than fathers. Now, God as a father was about to deal with his son in a particular way. And he said, I need fathers who understand what I'm about to do. And Moses and Elijah, as fathers, were brought in to speak to Jesus concerning two things. Number one, Moses was coming to tell him, there's going to come a time you will pray, you will pray, and God won't listen to your prayer. Because Moses said, I came to tell you that your father, I know him. One time when I hit the rock, instead of speaking to the rock, he got so angry with me and said, I'll see the promised land, but I'll never enter. I prayed, I prayed, I prayed, I prayed. And he never made me enter. It came to a time, he said, don't make this a prayer topic anymore. So Moses came to explain to him that, listen, you're going to pray, but he's not going to answer. He's not under obligation to answer every prayer. So in the Garden of Gethsemane, you are going to pray, but he's not going to answer you the way you want it. So he's not under obligation to answer every prayer. You need to know this. I know your father. He has dealt with me that way. But it, it, doesn't, still, it, it doesn't mean he doesn't love you. He still loves you. But there's a transaction, there's a process. So I am a teacher. I am coming from yesterday. I know something from yesterday that I can teach you for your tomorrow. Then Elijah also came. Yes, I know your father. And your father, look here. There's going to come a time you pray. There will be earthquake. There will be thunder and lightning. He's not going to be in it. He's going to be in the still small voice. 
So there's going to come a time you will pray and you'll be expecting him to move in thunder and earthquake and lightning. But no, listen to the small voice inside of you. Listen to the still small voice inside of you, not on the external. Look inside you. So these two people came to explain to Jesus certain things that were going to happen. Can I tell you something? There may be people who where you are right now, they have been there before. And sometimes you need their counsel. And sometimes you need their input. And sometimes you need them to come around and say, I've been there before. I know what it is. Okay. You can be a Samuel, but you still need an Eli to tell you, ah, next time he comes, say, Master, speak for thy seven here. Don't despise the old. And don't despise those who have gone on before you. There are men of God ahead of me. They know some things I don't know. And there are people ahead of me. Oh, yes, they know some things I don't know. My father of blessed memory will say something that will make my head spin. And today, some of the things he said, I'm experiencing them in the now. But I am equipped with the knowledge of yesterday to handle the challenges of today. Sometimes, God brings you into contact with teachers for your tomorrow. It's up to you. Listen to them or not. See you later.